bring in uh, Ben Aris, who's the editor-in-chief of BNE Intellinews. He joins us from uh, Berlin. Ben, good to have you on the show. Um, let's take a macro perspective to all this, um, rather than sort of like the day-to-day -day stuff. Um, when you look at sort of uh, the, the counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces, some mi military analysts are saying that Ukraine's military uh, is advancing perhaps too quickly, uh, overstretching its forces and, and becoming vulnerable to, to, to counterattacks. Uh, is that a valid argument? It is something to be considered. Uh, I mean, certainly they've gone very fast. Um, what they did is the, they hiked a counteroffensive in Kherson in the south, and then uh, that turned out to be something of a feint, and then they hit in the east, uh, in Kharkiv of the region there, with a hammer blow and smashed through the lines and scattered the Russian forces. And so there was something of a rout. I mean, the whole Kharkiv region has been cleared out. And the Ukrainian forces are now uh, advancing into Lugansk region, which is adjacent, uh, which had been previously held by the Russians, and pushing them back. But um, they're going very fast, and um, but they have really good supply lines. Uh, I think the the telling point will be when the Russian forces reach the um, the line of contact that was before February 24th where Russian and Russian proxies had been dug in for eight years. Uh, at that point, they'll probably slow down because that's much better defended, it being a very sort of mature battle line. Um, and at the other hand, you have to bear in a, into account that the, the, the Russians control some 20% of Ukrainian territory. And the advances have been around Kharkiv on the eastern border. But then the goal of the Ukrainian side is to push Russia out of the Donbass region entirely. And they're making a lot of progress. But there's a lot of territory, and you've yeah. got something on the order of 150,000 Russian troops, and you've got another 300,000 on the way, which will start arriving in the next month. Um, and then I think the whole advance will have to slow down, because the, even if the new troops coming in are ill-equipped and untrained, there's a lot of them, and they'll all have guns, and they have to be waded through. So I don't think um, they're overextending themselves in so much as the Russians are going to be incapable of you know, any sort of flanking operation. But I do think, um, we'll put it this way, it's not a collapse of the Russian defense, but mm -hmm. it's certainly crumbled around the edges. Okay. Where do you think these, uh, these 300,000 or so troops are, are, are going to be sent? Because um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, uh, is it, do you think, to the, to the four regions in eastern Ukraine to sort of counter the counteroffensive by Ukraine, or B, uh, possibly over to, to, to Belarus uh, to launch a possible assault on Kiev? Because... That is also something that's being talked about. Yeah, I think you can rule out any attack on Kiev in the meantime. Um, the thing with urban fighting is that you need 10 times the forces of the defenders, and the population of Kiev is like over a million, and they're highly motivated and armed. And Russia simply it would need a million troops to take Kiev, or it would have to flatten it with artillery. And logistically, Russia just simply does not have the resources to do that. So I think it's pretty clear that the, the conscripts um, who are on their way to the battlefield are going to go to the two main centers of fighting. They're going to be poured into Donbass to shore up the, uh, the lines in, uh, in Lugansk which, uh, and Donetsk. And also in Kherson, there's a major battle. I mean, the counteroffensive there was slow, but there, again, the Russians are very deeply dug in. Um, but they're making advances. I mean, Zelensky is talking about uh, several strategic towns in, uh, just in front of Kherson that have fallen. And Russia needs to secure that. And so they need men there in very short order. And so I'm pretty sure that, that, that those are where the troops are going to be sent, just to shore up the defenses and put more people in the way. Okay. Ben Aris, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for joining Thanks. us here on the NewsHour.